It's time for Three Stock Lunch. Today's edition is Fed-themed, and one stock is the one you want to own if they start cutting next year. One is if they leave rates here for a while. Hey, it could happen. And one to own no matter what the Fed does. Here with our trades is Quint Tatro, founder and president of Jewel Financial. Oh, no Santa. I see a stocking there, though. Uh, but let's get to it, Quentin, starting with Cleveland Cliffs, uh, the flat road steel producer. It's up about 4% today, actually, about 20% on the year. This is the one you want to own if they do start cutting early next year. Is that right? That's right, Kelly. you got to come into the economic classroom for this. If they're cutting, that means they're increasing the money supply, devaluing the dollar. You want to look to the materials. That's why those areas are just gangbusters today. Cleveland Cliffs is our name here. We have forward estimates at $1.64 for next year, which is 12 times uh, forward earnings. That growth would be 40%, so it's super cheap. They did $650 million in free cash flow, have a decent balance sheet. Stocks going higher from here. All right. The next one up, Quinn, is CrowdStrike, which is up nearly 140 percent this year. You say this is one you should own if the Fed leaves rates here for a while. you got to make a good case to make me buy a stock that's up 140 percent. So go ahead. Steve, I think it's going higher. But no, you're right. This is hard because it's hard to find an area of the market that's not correlated to interest rates or inflation. So we're going to go into the cybersecurity area. And our favorite here is CrowdStrike. It's not only up 140 on the year, it's up 170 off the lows. Huh. I don't think you chase it, but I think the game plan is we're going to see a pullback in the things that have been super hot as we see rotation into the names like Cleveland Cliffs. This is a company, yes, it's obviously turning profitable, selling at a very high multiple, but we do not believe the forward growth is factored in. This has got a strong balance sheet, $3 billion in cash. Give it a pullback, you're right to about the 230, 235 range, and then this is a stock you can add if or regardless, in my opinion, what the Fed does, but especially if they just stay put. Well, speaking of, you know, being able to ignore them entirely, you think AMD is the stock to own, kind of, to be able to just ignore them? You shrug your shoulders, go about your business. It's already more than doubled this year. You think it keeps going? I do. And I think today, again, is a little bit more of that rotation that we're seeing knee jerk reaction, uh, trying to get into some names that have been beaten up. But this is a name uh, that we feel is not pricing in or fundamentals not pricing in yet the new AI chip that you guys were just talking about. Uh, 40 times forward, it's rich, but those earnings estimates are projected to be growing at about 40 percent. And if you do factor in the AI chip growth, this stock all of a sudden becomes pretty cheap. No debt, $6 billion in cash, still 20% off highs, and we think it's going there early in the year. Wow. Out of the gate, off to the races. Quint, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Quint Tatro. Thanks.